Chiefs fans, we're back with another exclusive update, bringing you the latest news and insights. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video to stay on top of all things Chiefs. Now, let's get to today's news. The Chiefs recently made a noteworthy move by signing a two-way player, but the big question remains, will he make an impact in the NFL this season now? Let's get right to it. The Chiefs have recently made a significant move by signing a two-way player, raising the question, will he have an impact in the NFL this season? The excitement around Kansas City is palpable, as they're assembling an all-star roster filled with talent that has rivals wringing their hands in worry. If you think the Chiefs are done building their championship squad, think again. This is a franchise that believes in going all-in for glory. They are not here to waste anyone's time, especially after back-to-back -back Super Bowl victories. Now they're eyeing a third. Leading the charge, the Chiefs have secured the services of one of the most elite wide receivers in the game, DeAndre Hopkins. Yes, you heard that right. Hopkins is a game-changer, reshaping defensive schemes with his ability to make incredible catches. But that's not all. They've also added Josh Oosh to the defensive front. Oosh is a pass-rushing powerhouse, known for his speed, versatility, and relentless drive. These two acquisitions have already sparked excitement among fans and analysts alike. But the question remains, is this enough for the Chiefs? Absolutely not. With the quest for a third championship underway, the Chiefs are focusing on a critical area that needs reinforcement the secondary. The recent injury to starting cornerback Jalen Watson, who broke his tibia and fibula, has left a noticeable gap. The front office is jumping into action, and according to insider reports from ESPN's Jeremy Fowler and Tony Pauline, the Chiefs are actively monitoring the cornerback market. Let's break down some potential targets for Kansas City players who could fill the void left by Watson and elevate the defense to championship caliber. First up, we have Jonathan Jones from the New England Patriots. Jones is no rookie. He's a seasoned player who possesses great field awareness and has a knack for reading quarterbacks. The Patriots are stuck in a down season, and Jones is in the final year of his contract, making him prime trade bait. Acquiring him could provide immense value for the Chiefs without breaking the bank, possibly requiring only a day two draft pick. This is a no risk high-reward scenario for Kansas City. So the question is, will the Patriots let him go? Next, we turn our attention to Martian Lattimore of the New Orleans Saints. Lattimore's situation has become intriguing as the Saints are struggling and their salary cap is a growing concern. With expressed frustration over his current circumstances, Lattimore could be itching for a change. If the Chiefs can secure him, they get a physical playmaker capable of creating turnovers and bolstering the defense. However, acquiring Latimore likely means a steep price high draft picks or player swaps. Is Kansas City willing to pay that price for a player of his caliber? Then there's the wild card, Tredavious White from the Los Angeles Rams. While he may not be at the peak of his career, White is still a former first-team All-Pro who has excelled in press coverage. The Rams have given him permission to seek a trade, and with the right system like the Chiefs who knows what he could achieve. It's a gamble, yes, but a chance at a potential steal given his experience. As the Chiefs stand at this critical juncture, they need to weigh their options carefully. They've already fortified their offense and defense with big moves, but the question remains, do they feel satisfied with the current secondary? or are they willing to make yet another bold move? The pressure is mounting as the trade deadline approaches, and the stakes are sky high. Every decision could make the difference between another Lombardi trophy or facing the sting of disappointment. The Chiefs have a high-powered offense led by Patrick Mahomes, but if the secondary falters in crucial moments, that offensive firepower could go to waste. This isn't just about shoring up weaknesses, it's about solidifying a legacy. By making another impactful move, the Chiefs send a powerful message to the entire league. 
They are still hungry, still relentless, and not satisfied with simply being great, they want to dominate. However, the potential pitfalls are also significant. Acquiring a player 